When I was in college, I did a summer internship at the newspaper in our town, which was the most perfect fit for me because I was a communication major. And I worked in the advertising department and loved my experience there. One memorable week, I remember our supervisor came in and said, we are in need of help for the nighttime paper routes. We don't have enough delivery people right now. So as part of your internship, you can come and learn about the distribution process for the paper. Well, initially I thought, oh my goodness, how am I gonna do this? I, how am I gonna stay up all night? Like many of you, I like sleep. So my initial reaction was, I don't really wanna do that. So what did I do? I decided to try to make it the most fun that I could. So Mike, my now husband, uh, we were dating at the time. So I said, will you please come with me? So we packed our hot chocolate and snacks and we're gonna make it all fun. And he was gonna help me. And so we got to the, the newspaper to pick up our, our route information and be prepared. And all of us interns gathered up and started getting instructions. And I was scanning the crowd, seeing who all was there. And out of the corner of my eye, I saw the president and CEO of the newspaper. He was there at midnight with all of us and our supervisor told us that the president was going to have a paper route that night too. I was floored and I still am floored. I mean, this man was an incredible leader of this organization, but he was also a servant leader. He just like us, was going to deliver newspapers in the middle of the night. This last Sunday, our church, we talked about the life of Stephen. Stephen was this incredible man. We read in, in Acts chapter six, verse eight, that he was full of God's grace and power, and he did wonders and miraculous signs among the people. In chapter seven, we read this amazing speech that he made in front of the council of religious leaders talking about Jesus. Stephen even died for his faith. And yet early on in, in chapter six, we also read that he was part of a team that distributed meals to those in need. This wasn't a job that was in the spotlight. This wasn't a part of his his grand speeches or miraculous signs. This was him just being willing to serve those in need. And you know what I've come to realize about Stephen is that his impact was amplified because he was willing to serve. And I think that about the newspaper CEO too, that his impact was amplified because he was willing to serve. I mean, I'm still talking about it so many years later, you know, 15 years later, I'm still remembering the impact of that CEO. And obviously we're still remembering the impact of Stephen. And so I believe the same goes for us, that our impact will be amplified when we are serving. So I've been asking myself the question, how can I serve? How can I serve those around me? I know this is a silly example, but my husband, he almost always makes the bed. I, I usually don't, but he always makes the bed. And I know that that's important to him. So even in the last couple of weeks, I've just been trying to make the bed. And I wanna serve him in that way. And that's just one small thing, but I've just been asking the Lord to help me learn to serve. Learn to serve my kids, learn to serve the people that I'm connecting with that are, that are online, on social media, learning to serve my parents who so often serve us by helping with our kids. How can I serve those in the community? How can I serve? That's been my prayer and my question to God. And so one way that I'm responding to all of this is I have committed for the next week, starting today for the next seven days, I'm going to be reading Philippians chapter two, one through seven every day because that is a section of scripture where we are reminded that Jesus took on the very nature of a servant. He served. And so we're called to serve too. So I'm gonna be reading that every day for seven days and then praying, God, how can I serve? Open my eyes to see how I can serve. So I invite you to do the same thing. Will you read Philippians chapter two, one through seven with me every day and be praying for opportunities to serve? 
I believe that as we pray, God is going to answer our prayer and give us opportunities to help those around us in any way possible. And let's continue to serve just like Stephen, just like the CEO, but most importantly, let's follow in the footsteps of Jesus and be servant leaders.